The U.S. administration is being dishonest and not telling the truth to its Congress and to the American people. They want to hide the direct link between the PKK terror group and YPG since it's a crime to support them. We know that the U.S. is not there to fight against Daesh. Turkey is the only country who fought against Daesh. We killed 4,000 Daesh terrorists. Now they are planning to engage with the Taliban so Daesh does not get stronger in Afghanistan. But who brought those Daesh fighters from Syria to Afghanistan? They were brought there with planes. These are all the results of the wrong policies of the U.S. We see those results in Iraq, Afghanistan and Syria. Now the U.S. is supporting a separatist terror group in Syria. So instead of blaming Turkey, the U.S. should abandon its mistaken policies and be honest with the American people and with its Congress. Murat Aslan is an assistant professor of security studies at Istanbul Sabahattin Zaim University. He joins us from the capital, Ankara. Uh, Murat, let's take it as given, okay, that Turkey's armed forces have conducted many operations, successful operations against Daesh. Let's not go over that sort of uh, fact. What I need to know from you is why is Joe Biden saying what he's saying? He may be able to fool the American people, but surely he can't fool Congress. Well, I think there is a question, very famous question to be asked. You know, maybe somebody knows, you know, Hans J. Morianto, forerunner of classical realism in international politics. He had asked one single question for the American engagement to Vietnam, what is the point? And today, I think we should ask the same question for Turkish-American relations, mainly to Biden. What is the point to just demolish all the bridges by the sentiments that is, you know, just sounded spontaneously. Because this, this letter to Senate or Congress, whatever, doesn't matter, well, it perceives Turkey as a threat, but why? You know, international politics is based on cause and effect. I'm trying to understand the effect of today, but there's no reason, that means there's no cause. Uh, if you take Daesh, Turkey just erased them from Syria in 2016, by, you know, conducting an operation, Euroface Shield, Euroface and at that time, the U.S. had impeded air campaigns that would support Turkish army. So the question is about a contradiction. You were not that much committed to fight against Daesh together with Turkey, but now you are accusing Turkey that Turkey is just impeding fight against Daesh, even though Daesh is marginalized in Syria. What has Washington not understood about the threat that the YPG poses along Turkey's border and possibly even inside Turkey? Because this is the sister organization of the PKK terror group, which Washington, the European Union, obviously Ankara as well, regard as a terrorist organization. The PKK has killed possibly up to 40,000 people in four decades of a terror campaign inside Turkey. And the YPG is a sister organization. How does Washington not understand that? You know what, Morat? We have had guests in America who have said, actually, the White House does know that. Well, let me remind you one thing, one reality, actually. You know, the basic problem between the Turkish-American relations was usually based on March 1st failed decree in Turkish National Assembly that did not allow American troops pass to Iraq. Well, the ones who voted no in this, uh, you know, uh, process was the legal extension of PKK in the parliament, HDP, as a political party, and also federal members. And today, the U.S. is accusing Turkey not allowing the United States to pass Iraq and not supporting U.S. policies in the Middle East, but cooperating with the ones that they, uh, they were opposing to the U.S. existence in Turkey. So this type of, you know, uh, letters, uh, I think, means nothing if you just compare and contrast the historical discourse and the actual events. Another issue, and finally, uh, if you go through the security strategy paper of the United States and still inherited from Trump, they could not, Biden administration could not issue a new one, and they just list threats in a general way. But in a letter like this, they name Turkey as a threat. I mean, no logic behind it. Morat, thank you very much indeed. Always appreciate your input. Morat Aslan speaking to us from Ankara.